So the first thing that we have to do in order to install this microwave and trim kit is attach the trim kit pieces to the microwave itself. Now, this trim kit gives you two different options because it's for different size microwaves. And my microwave is actually the smaller version and I'll put a link to the exact microwave I'm using and trim kit so you can follow along if you're doing this for your home. So let's move down to the microwave and install the first thing that we need to on it. Okay, what you wanna do is you wanna grab this flashing. It's the smaller one with the angle and it's gonna simply just attach to the side. To install this, you just need a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew these two screws. Okay, then you're just gonna attach the flashing on just like this and you are going to put the two screws back in place. Okay, in your kit, they gave you two pieces of tape. We're gonna put one piece of tape on the top and then one piece of tape on the bottom. All right, next what you wanna do is you wanna find your center line. So I put a center right here, and then you want this side, you wanna draw a line from here to here to be seven and a quarter inches, and then a line from here to here to be seven and one eighth inch. So I have marked that right here on my cabinet, and then we're gonna put these in place, and they are gonna be installed just like that. Okay, so you wanna install the bracket going this way and we're gonna put screws in on this side. Now I'm gonna pre-drill everything just because I can't hold those little screws. It's really hard for me to do that. So this is just gonna make it easier. Okay, you can see here the brackets are installed. All right, our next step is to install the metal vent or the face frame for your microwave. To do that, you're gonna to need to use these little L brackets. Now, what's really nice about these brackets is they have a little t indexing tab right here so that way you know how far to push it in and it'll catch on the lip. However, in the instructions, they don't tell you anything about how far you need it from the left and the right side. So I did some math and did some testing and all you're gonna need is a three quarter inch piece of wood to act as a spacer. Now this is very important because you wanna get the spacing on this correct and this will change your life. So let me show you how to use the spacer and how to specifically attach these little brackets.
All right, so next we're gonna install these. Now, if you look at these, these have like a little diamond on it. So they, they go in and then they do a quarter turn and that's how they fit inside of this. And the last thing you need to do is just simply snap in your face frame. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about this installation, please post in the comments below. I'm here to help you guys out. Also, if you could hit that thumbs up button for me, if you found this video helpful, it'll help others find this video too. All right, guys. Well, till next time, I'll see you later.